computer is increasingly becoming an extension of our imagination. Within it, it's possible to create entire worlds with fascinating levels of detail. The technology that drives modern computer graphics should fascinate not only nerds, but anyone who's interested in exploring the depths of imagined worlds, both finite and profoundly infinite. In creating virtual worlds, there are two very different concepts that play their roles. One of them being the dominant, but also, I think, will soon be left behind to some extent. I'm talking about precisely defined worlds crafted from nothing versus the procedurally generated ones. Most games are created by tens or hundreds of design engineers that all sculpt every last pixel of the game. This they do to be able to define it, but also because they have to. In order for any of your ideas to be converted into a fictional reality that you can show to others, and that they in turn can manipulate within a rule set of that given world, you have to first create it from scratch. This is incredibly time consuming, but allows for a complete control over all variables. Procedural generation works in exactly the same way, except for in every single detail. Currently, the most famous example of procedural generation is probably Minecraft. In this game, the player finds himself in a blocky world with a surface area of roughly eight times that of the Earth. Although it is limitless in theory, a set of boundaries still exist. The first being that since it stores every generated detail and alteration made by the player, the size of the world takes up increasing amounts of hard drive space as it is being explored. The second being that the world is generated from the center and outwards. The algorithm employed for this terrain generation becomes unpredictable when you reach a certain point sufficiently far from the center. But this is just Minecraft. This is Space Engine. It's a procedural universe simulator created by only one guy, the Russian Vladimir Romanyuk. Currently, it's less of a conceptualized game or program and more of an idea form or a showcase of what's actually possible in terms of virtual landscapes inside the circuitry of modern computers. Space Engine simulates concurrently and relationally in the fourth dimension of time every catalogued celestial body we know of and in the universe, and an unmentionable amount of the ones we don't know of. In the realm of the imagined, using complex relational algorithms, Space Engine will procedurally generate stars within galaxies, planetary bodies within star systems, and detailed planetary terrain. Another and perhaps even more impressive thing about the space engine is that the algorithms are so sophisticated, everybody will get the same results. It's like it knows what to imagine before it does it. Procedural generation is a way for computers to improvise a potentially infinite reality based on a set of scientific equations. And I think this concept will play a much bigger role in any computer-generated images in times to come. What you see here is the early workings of a project by a guy named David Hoskins. It has come farther since this tech demo was released. What sets this thing apart from Space Engine and Minecraft and others is the fact that this engine uses no textures or any kind of visual data at all to generate the complex world you see. 
It uses fractional algorithms to create every aspect of the world you see. In fact, the entire program takes up less than 130 kilobytes. That's not a lot. What this is then, is a world generated entirely by mathematics. Absolutely everything you see here is equations running. Conventionally, textures are the clothing that gives the world its visual appearance. Images that can be tiled together, creating a seamless loop, are overlaid onto three-dimensional surfaces comprised of polygons. It's for the absence of any pre-made features, this program is exceptionally innovative. This concept can also be extrapolated onto other kinds of data. For instance, it could be used to generate sound, although I have yet to hear any really interesting procedural music. I'm interested in what the future will bring, and I certainly think procedural generation could be the next big thing.